mathematicians. Today we're going to review all that we've learned about place value in the last few days. And we're going to kind of put it all together. Today, today is a place value review up to the 100s place. So that's our goal today is just to kind of review a lot of things and, um, and learn how to say numbers in different ways and, and represent them. Um, and so our first number, we're going to represent three different numbers, and then I'm going to uh, introduce your assignment to you. Our first number is 318. 318. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to represent this in um, standard form, which is just the numbers. We have an 8 in the 1's place. There's 8 1's. In the tens place, the number right to the left of the ones place, there is a one. And then the third number from the left in the hundreds place, there is a three. 318. Now we're going to represent it in um, with our base 10 blocks. So um, let's do that. For the ones place, we have eight. So I'm going to use one cubes because we're talking about the ones place. So we're going to need eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. And now for the tens place, we just need one. Um, 10, but we need a 10 stick this time because we're talking about the 10's place. Just one little 10 right by itself. And then for the 100's place, we're going to use 100's boards to represent that since we're talking about the 100's place. And we need three of those. 100, 200, 300. Kind of have to squish them there. They obviously don't fit because they're much bigger than the 10's and the 1's because it's the 100's place. It's worth more. Okay, now we're going to put it in expanded form. That's where we look at the value of each digit and write it down into an equation form. And today, we're going to use um, our um, place value cards right here to represent these. So let's start with um, the hundreds place. There are three hundreds, and that three in the hundreds place is not just worth three. It's worth 300. So I'm going to put 300 down here. And then this one in the tens place, it's not worth one. It's in the tens place, so it's worth a whole 10. If we were to count all of these blocks in this stick, it would be 10. And so it is worth 10. So I'm going to put a 10 down here for this. So, so far, we have 300 plus 10. And now we have to do the ones. There are eight ones, and they're just worth eight because it's in the ones place. So I'm going to put an eight down here. So our expanded form is 300 plus 10 plus 8. And now the word form. Remember, you can get um, used on the back of your the back of your place value chart. Um, is a um, sheet that has all of the number words on it. So we're gonna we can use that to write the number word. Remember to write write the number word. You write what you say. So say this number with me: three hundred eighteen. So that's exactly what what I'm gonna write. I'm gonna write three hundred. See right there on our paper, three. And then I need 18, so I have to go to the teens list and find 18. So watch me write that down here. Three, word three, hundred, and then 18. Three hundred, eighteen. Okay? Very good. Now, I want you to pause the video right here, and you get your materials and build this number just like I did. So press pause and build this number. Okay, good job. Now we're going to move on to another number. Let me clear all my stuff here so we can get a fresh new number. All right, our 
new number is a little bit smaller than before. 209. 209. Notice we don't have any tens here. There's a zero in the tens place. But we have to put it in there because if we didn't have the zero there, it would just look like 29. There's a big difference between 29 and 209. So our number is 209. Now I'm going to put that in standard form, build it just like that. Um, we have a 9 in the ones place. Zero tens, but we have to put something there. Remember, zero is like a placeholder. And then two in the hundreds place. Now I'm going to build it with base 10 blocks. So there's a 9 in the ones place, so we're going to need 9 ones. We almost are going to fill up this 10 frame. Can you guess how many is going to be empty after we do 9? Just one little empty block. One more and it would make 10. Okay, now how many 10 sticks do we need? Nothing. We just leave it empty. And now for the hundreds place, we have a 2 in the hundreds place, so we need 200 boards. So this is our number, 209. Now let's make it in expanded form. Let's look at the value of each digit. This 2 is in the hundreds place, so it is worth 200. We have nothing in the tens place, so we're just going to leave it like that. And then in the ones place, we just have a 9. So our expanded form is 200 plus 9. You would only need one plus sign in the middle. So 200 plus 9 is the um, expanded form for that. And now let's look at the word form. We write exactly what we say. So say this word with me. 209. So I'm 209. So I'm going to write 209. Notice I did not put the number and, uh, the word and here, 200 and 9. I did not say and. And is not a number. So there is our number 209. I want you to pause the video here and build 209 just like I have with your materials. Okay. Now we're going to model one last number. And let me get all my stuff changed out here. Our last number is kind of a big number 575. 575. So I'm going to model that here. Notice there are two fives in this number. There's a five in the ones place, and there's also a five in the hundreds place. So I'm going to put a five in the ones place. How many tens do we have? Seven. And how many hundreds? Five. There are two fives, but they are very, very different because the fives are in a different place, and so they have a different value. They are worth different amounts, and we're going to prove that with our base ten blocks. So let's look at the ones place first. Five ones is what we need. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now the tens place. How many tens do we need? Seven. One, two, three, four. I'm going to have trouble fitting them. Five, six, seven. I'm going to kind of squish them together. That's a lot of tens there. Okay, and now the hundreds. Oh boy, how are we going to fit these? Going to have to kind of stack them. I think I'll slide that over there. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. Oh my goodness, look at all those. That's amazing. Okay, so now, yes, we do have two fives in our numbers, but look, they are worth totally different amounts. Imagine these are dollars. Would you rather have $5 or $500? Most definitely $500 because it's worth more. This five is in the hundreds place, and so it has a much bigger value than the five in the ones place. It's worth a lot more. So now let's express that in expanded form. This five is worth 
500 because it is in the hundreds place. All right, this seven has seven tens. See how much it's worth. We can just count the blocks. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Seven tens is 70. So that seven is worth 70, has a value of 70. And now this little old five in the ones place, he's just worth five. So our expanded form is 500 plus 70 plus five. Now let's put that in word form. Okay. Um, we just write exactly what we say when we say this number. So say this number with me, 575. So let's write that slowly and say it. 570. Oh, if we forget how to spell 70, don't forget. You can look on the back. They're all right here. There's 70 right there. It has the numeral beside it. So, 575. Okay, put a hyphen in there. All right, so I want you to pause the video right here and build this number with your tools. Okay, and the last thing we're going to do for this lesson is um, I'm going to um, introduce to you the, um, the activity that you're fixing to do in Seesaw, and that is this looking thing. It is a chart. Let me zoom in so you can see. And it has a lot of fives, a lot of sevens, and a lot of twos in here, and some zeros. But the numbers are in different places, and so they have different values. Like this one is 275, and this one's 527. They both have a 2, both have a 7, both have a 5, but they're in different places. So in Seesaw, you're going to have all these little strips around um, the, the chart here, and you're going to have to drag and drop them to the right place. So like... For the first one, 275, let me zoom out, and get, it, get it clear. I think that's about as clear as I'll be able to get it. Yeah. There we go. Okay, there are three different forms that you have to put the number in. The standard form is already there for you. Okay, you have to find the word name and the expanded form that matches that number. So our number, say it with me. 275. Mm. Well, let's see. Don't look at look for the word name first. Let's see. What's this one say? 27. Nope. Way bigger. Let me find another word one. Read it with me. 520. Nope. We need 200. 75. See this one. Read it with me. 275. Yep, that's right. So you're going to drag and drop it right there. Okay? And then we have to find the expanded form. And this is where you have to be very careful because they're very, very similar. All right, take a look at this expanded form. See if that matches. 700 plus 20 plus 5. Nope, that's 725. We're looking for 275. All right, what about this one? 200 plus 70 plus 5. Yep, that's it. So now we've made a matching set. We've got all three of the right ones in the box. And then you'll look at the next number, 527, and do it for all of the rest of them. So you're going to match the standard form, the word form, and the expanded form into the box. All right, thank you so much, guys, for participating in this place value review up to the hundreds place. I cannot wait to see all that you've learned in your assignment.